A common practice in the Middle East was the ritual of baths, followed with the anointing with oil in preparation for a future wedding. In Esther 2.12, we read that Esther, in the days of preparation for the king, had to complete 12 months of beauty treatments prescribed for the women, with oil of myrrh and perfumes and cosmetics. The first part of this practice involved taking fragrant baths using myrrh, a spice commonly used for preparing bodies for burial. Our own Savior's body was taken away and prepared with myrrh after His crucifixion. As a remnant of Christ's body, we are to be made ready with the burial of our sins at the cross. We must die to the old life as death is the first step in preparation for those who would become the Bride of Christ. Today, He continues to beautify His Bride with the oil of the Ruach HaKodesh and provide us with everything we need to become a beautiful bride. In ancient Israel, it was customary for the bride to have attendants. These bridesmaids, mentioned in a Bible called virgins, as Paul told the Corinthian church, we are betrothed to one husband, so that he may present us as a pure virgin. In the parable of the ten virgins, the term bride is not mentioned, but all of the virgins who are called and invited to the wedding could qualify to be the bride. Their duties played a very important role in the marriage procession. Each virgin was given a lamp and instructed to keep it filled with oil so that it would burn brightly in order to light the bride's path. For the Jews, the number 10 represents the legal congregation. In Hebrew, it's called minyan. Therefore, the entire congregation of true believers in the Messiah is clearly represented by the 10 virgins in the parable that Yeshua told. According to Jewish custom, the virgins stayed close by the bride to wait for the groom because they did not know what day or hour he would arrive. All of the virgins, robed in white, went forth to meet the bridegroom, leaving their family, home, and friends temporarily in order to be a part of the bride's entourage. They anxiously congregated in the same location where they slumbered and slept, so that all could hear the cry of the groom's attendant in the streets. For at the announcement, there was only enough time for the virgins to make their final preparations.